Good afternoon folks, this is Ali from Roman Motor Company and we got the beautiful 2003 Mercedes SL500 behind us. This particular car is currently live on Bring a Trailer. So we're gonna do a nice walk around, show you guys some of the blemishes the car may have, tell you a little bit about the vehicle, show you the interior, and uh, also get the convertible top working because I know that's gonna be a very common question that gets asked. So let's get to it. Let's talk to you about this beautiful SL500. So first things first, we're gonna talk about the spec on this car. It's a diamond silver metallic over berry red absolutely beautiful color combo and it also has the amg package so you got the amg wheels the bumpers and everything gives it a nice aggressive look so the interior is definitely something that gets lots and lots of compliments uh considering it's a full full red interior and you got a little bit of black dash so definitely a beautiful beautiful color combo uh, overall the car looks very very good for its age it's about 65,000 miles 2003 so somewhat of uh, you know somewhat uh, blemishes is to be expected but overall it looks clean obviously we've done a full paint correction so the whole car is polished out no swirls no uh, blemishes uh, we got a couple scratches but paint looks beautiful interior looks beautiful so let's let's kind of do a quick walk around as we usually do and show you guys what we find on the car so looking at the driver's side, very, very clean. I do not see any kind of uh, dents or scratches or anything. We got a couple of water spots. We just had uh, rinsed the car on the way here. And also it's a bit of a drive, so um, got a little dusty. But overall, paint's nice and smooth. It's beautiful. I don't see any major swirls or blemishes. And as I mentioned, paint correction takes care of most of that. So that's why it looks as good as it does. Coming up to the passenger side, if we look closer here, once again, I do not see any major dings, scratches, dents, or anything like that. I do see one rock chip right about here on the fender. And I believe we got, that's just dust as well. So overall, pretty clean. I think I see a minor, minor scratch right here. We'll most likely be able to polish this out. That probably happened recently because it uh, should have been polished up. But either way, it's very hard to see. We'll polish that out. Coming up to the front area of the vehicle, overall looks beautiful. I don't see any rock chips. I don't see any blemishes. The headlights look good. Everything looks beautiful. Paint on the hood looks good. Overall, beautiful shape. The wheels, we'll get some close-ups. Uh, I think we already got pictures of that. It's got some minor curb rash on the wheels. Not super hard to, or not super easy to see. We got some minor, minor rashes on the wheels. Uh, it's better to just post close-ups uh, pictures of that. Let's get to the interior, show you guys the interior of the vehicle. All right, coming up to the interior of the vehicle, everything looks absolutely beautiful. The berry red interior leather is phenomenal. Uh, leather is nice and soft. I don't see any crazy shine to the leather. Being a 65,000 mile car, you know, you still got normal wear and tear, but there's no rips or tears. The interior smells good too. I always mention that. Let's take a seat inside. Steering wheel feels good. You got the wood grain uh, steering. Fairly uncommon for the SL500s to have these. Typically it's a full leather wrapped steering. I think this definitely makes the car feel very, very good. Same uh, trim you got in the middle too. And then uh, shifter, everything looks good. So for the head unit section, everything looks good except for the two knobs, the volume knob and the second one. You got a little bit of like, I wanna say sticky knobs, but you do see some wear and tear on the knobs. Everything else looks nice and pretty. Coming up to the convertible top switch right here. Everything works. We'll double check the convertible. And then dash here overall looks nice and pretty. You got a little bit of like soft leather right here. We can see a tiny, tiny bit of bubbling. Maybe we can mention that to make sure there's no surprises. And then vents here look good. We do have one little missing knob switch uh, thingy that is in here on the left side. So it still works. You're just missing the little middle piece. Let's mention that. Center console looks good. Passenger seat, everything looks good. Both the door panels look beautiful. I don't see any blemishes. And then while we're here, let's do a quick convertible functioning as well. As you guys can see, functions as exactly how it should function. I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys too, just to be safe. And there is the convertible top opening in this case. One of the other things I also did wanna mention, we're currently in Escondido. I drove all the way from South San Diego to Escondido and it's very, very hot today. We had the AC on with the top down and the AC works phenomenal. Like even with the top down on a hot day, works really, really good. I wanna make sure we mention that because the majority of our SL500s that we've sold end up in Vegas, Nevada, hotter states. So I wanna make sure that's mentioned that AC is super, super cold on this thing. So let's show you the engine bay. And I think that will cover this video pretty much. All right, engine bay, not much to see here. Obviously it's a pretty much all stock car. I don't think there's any modifications on this, but what I mainly wanted to focus is how clean the engine looks. Obviously we've detailed this vehicle, but I've also personally driven this car quite some time now. No leaks, 
no smells of like smoke or anything like that. You know, typically if it has like some sort of leak, you'll kind of start to smell it. Uh, none of those issues. Engine runs good. Transmission runs really, really good. I think that covers everything. This will conclude the walk around video. Cars live on Bring a Trailer. We got about three days, I think. I should be able to post this video tonight for you guys. And then uh, if you have any questions, let me know. We can uh, answer any questions you have in the comments. You can call us. Uh, FaceTime us, whatever you guys need. So I think that covers everything. We will post this up and then uh, we'll see you guys in the comments, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye.